Hi everyone, welcome to Shelly Anderson Art. Today I'm going to do a blooming ring pour with the spin on it. We'll see how that works out for me, right? Okay, before we get started, I took the bloom course from Shelly Carruthers of Shelly Art. <clears throat> I love the course. I learned a lot. Still have some learning to do, but hey, that's good for all of us. Um, if you're interested in taking the course, I have an affiliate code I've placed below the video. So just put that in at checkout and you'll get a 15% discount. Okay. Well, let's see. We've got for my pillow paint, the first paint down is the Glidden Semi-Gloss White GLE 3000. Okay. For my pouring medium, I'm using the Sherwin-Williams HGTV High Gloss. Ultra Deep Base, number 833210, 209 if you get the gallon. Now, for a quarter, I mean for a quart can, I've added about three quarters of a cup of varnish. About a quarter of that is the Menwax Polycrylic Clear varnish okay. and then the balance of that which is a half a cup of the Joe Sonia gloss varnish somewhere around there I got my measurements a little squirrely at the time I, I, I think that's correct though we'll find out right well let me show you the consistency of the pouring medium Can you see that? Okay. <clears throat> I made this up two days ago, so we'll see how that goes. All right. For the colors I'm using, Parage Posse's paints. Um, if you're not familiar with these paints, check out Christina Welch Art on Etsy. She has her own line, and you can purchase them there. If you're a member of the Parage Posse group, Facebook group, then you can get a 10% discount if you purchase. Okay, this is Christina's Laguna Shimmer. That's what I'm using. Carolina Blue Shimmer. My throat, I don't know why it's bugging me today, so excuse the way I sound. Gold Rush. Now we're moving on to the um, Color Art Bling It Interference Gold. This is what it looks like. And that's what that looks like. Pretty. Okay, I'm using the Interference Violet. In that line too. And that is this. See, it doesn't really look like it has much color, but when it lays down on the paint and dries, you can see it's like a color shift. You can see it um, and get that hint of violet. Then I'm also using the Interference Blue. Bling it, color art. Okay, and the Snapdragon is beautiful. This is the Snapdragon. Next, I am using Grumbacher's Prussian Blue is my CA. So, three, three parts of the Aussie Floetrol. And it is expensive. Um... But I love it. it. You know, works great. There are alternative recipes out there if you want them. <clears throat> Man, sorry guys. Voice is cracking. I guess it's tired. So three tablespoons of the Aussie Flow Trial to one tablespoon of the Grumbacher Prussian Blue. This is the consistency. I don't know if you can see it. It's black and it's hard. That really doesn't. I mean, dark and it doesn't want to show up on camera too well it's leaving a trace 
in a little mound. Not much of a mound though. Okay, and just a quick look see at this. Carolina blue. It's done gotten thicker. There we go. That's the consistency of it. We'll see how that works out for me. Um Okay. Now I'm going to load a cup. Little medicine cup to do the ring pour. I don't need anything any larger. I'm going to spray it with WD-40 because I don't want the paint to stick. And I will um, run it around the rim and sling most of that out. <clears throat> I don't want a bunch of it down at the bottom. I might actually run a paper towel through there real quick. There we go. And get it off your fingers too. You have to be careful. Now, this is a six by six tile. Um, <clears throat> but even with this, you know, if you have oils on your fingers and you handle it and like with the canvas, what's gonna happen is when you pour your paint, it's gonna repel because of the oils on the canvas or the substrate. Okay. Now to load the cup, I'm going to go ahead and load that before I pour my pillow. Okay. Carolina Blue Shimmer. Master's Touch, I didn't show you this. Master's Touch Viridian. It's a beautiful color. Love it. Okay, I see I'm getting sloppy already and I'm just getting started. Christina's Laguna. Here comes the snapdragon. Next is the interference violet. This is interference blue. I'm going to change that up. I'm not going to put that on there yet. I'm going to put, I'm going to come back with this one, the Carolina blue shimmer. Now I'm going to put the interference blue on top of that. And I think, um, what do I want to put last? Oh, it don't matter now. I'm going to put Viridian and then the gold. I don't know. I kind of wish I'd put the gold down first because the first color in your cup in a ring pour is the last one out. But we'll see. This might work out for me. Get these paints out of the way. Okay. All right, here goes the pillow. You don't want to be stingy with the pillow, you want to have enough to pour, to stretch, I mean. Sorry, that's plenty. Okay. Hmm. I don't want that coming off. Better work 
quit. Okay. Somebody's dinging the heck out of my phone. Okay. I'm sorry. You probably didn't get a good shot of that. But... All right. I need to hurry. I don't want the tension from the surface paint to pull. Pull the rest of the paint over. Okay. Here it comes. The Prussian Blue CA. Mm, that looks thick. That's not... I need a bigger dollop of that. Okay, here we go. Um, pulling the drip off the sides because it will pull. See how it's pulling these cells down already? Okay. If you want to stop that action, you need to keep wiping until it stops dripping. Alright. Oh, I'm loving those. Gotta get something going on here. I think I probably had too much CA after all. Or had yeah had plenty of CA after all cell activator. Okay, I'm gonna get my turkey baster out and I'm going to blow. Or maybe I'll just blow with my mouth. I don't know. I can take some and blow it this way. don't really like blowing the fingers but I just want to get some of the soup <clears throat> so I really love this I don't want it getting um, slung off the sides so what I am gonna do is tilt it a little bit okay this way and hopefully I'll be able to keep most of that when I do the spin I don't want everything else to get distorted though. All right, I'm going for it. Let me get some of this stuff out of my way. I don't want it to get ruined. Here we go. Whoa. Okay, one thing I forgot to do is put a little paint here and on the bottom, it'll create suction. Oh man, I don't know if I want to do any more. <laughs> and try to make sure that your substrate or your canvas is centered on that. See, that's pretty centered. Wow. Man, I love that. Love it. 
love it, love it. Okay, so what do I want to do? Hmm. I just want to get these edges touched up. Keep wiping. Wow, that's gorgeous now. To me, <laughs> I'm happy with that. Oh, yeah, that looks like it needs some paint right there. There we go. Okay. I'm going to give it another spin. Do not want to spend too much because I just love it like it is. here and I think I'll take a little bit and just so I'll have some I like that. I like the balance of the corners for me. Okay. Oh, man, the paint that's coming off is just gorgeous. Something um, I need to address real quick. I have an issue with keeping my keeping my table level here pouring. But I've, I'm adamant about uh, the drying surface being level. I try to do this too. It just is. This is a plastic table, well, heavy duty plastic, but it's kind of warped and it's hard to. Every time I put a uh, something down to paint, <clears throat> I have to check for level because it does go out. I guess I bump it and it shifts. I don't understand it, but what have you? Just make sure it's level. Um, and wherever you dry your painting for sure needs to be leveled or you're going to be very disappointed in your painting the next morning because it will have shifted one way or the other all right i'm going to bring this up close to you let me just wipe some more of this off real fast i think i'm good Ooh. and don't be careless like me <laughs> Okay. Now, the question I have is should I take a skewer and skewer out this uh, Prussian blue? Take it and go. You know, I'm not going to do that. I really do like it like it is. I like the 
cells here the, in the webbing. Okay, I'm done. I hope you enjoyed this painting, and if you did, give me a thumbs up, like, and share, please. And you have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.